warm welcome to the newsroom. I am Fidelia Aguncha. Governor-elect of Imo State, Hope Uzadima, has ordered all financial institutions where the state funds are maintained not to honor any draft on two further notice. This order came a few hours after the Supreme Court declared him the duly elected governor of the state on Tuesday. The order was contained in a letter signed by Cosmos Iwu, Director General of Hope Uzadima Campaign Organization, on behalf of the governor-elect. Uzadima, who came a distance fourth position, was on Tuesday declared winner of the March 19 Imo governorship election by a seven-man panel of the Supreme Court, which nullified Emeka Ihedioha's victory on grounds that Uzadima pulled the highest vote in the elections. Meanwhile, President Muhammad Buhari and the People's Democratic Party PDP have been reacting to Uzadima's emergence as the new governor of Imo State. In a statement, President Buhari hailed the Supreme Court's decision, saying the road to justice might be twisted but remains the best. Buhari congratulated Uzadima, advising him to promote the ideals of APC and unite the state by running an inclusive administration. But the PDP, on the other hand, expressed shock over the judgment of the Supreme Court stressing that the destiny of the people of Imo State is being taken from the governor they chose. The federal government has declared Operation Amotekun as an illegal outfit, hinging their decision on ground that the creation of the security outfit contravenes provisions of the Nigerian constitution. In a statement released by the Office of the Attorney General of the Federation and the Minister of Justice, the federal government held that the Army, Navy and Air Force, including the police and other numerous paramilitary organizations, are the only security outfit recognized by law. The government's decision has, however, been rejected by the Southern and Middle Belt Leaders Forum, which says the legality of the outfit can only be challenged in court. Officials of the Nigerian Army, Navy, Air Force and the Nigerian Legion converged, are converging in different centers across the nation to celebrate the 2020 Armed Forces Remembrance Day in the nation's capital. President Muhammad Buhari, service chiefs, leadership of the National Assembly, Judiciary and members of the Diplomatic Corps will oversee parades and other military activities at the Remembrance Arcade to mark the day. The Armed Forces Remembrance Day is celebrated every January 15 to honor members of the military who fought and are still fighting in various theaters of conflict within Nigeria and across the world. President Muhammad Buhari may inaugurate the Lagos Ibadan Railway in May 2020. This is according to Rutimi Amechi, Nigeria's Minister of Transportation. Amechi on Tuesday noted that the Federal Ministry of Transportation has been working hard to see that the project was set for inauguration in April, but said the President might wish to inaugurate it in May based on his schedule. The Minister of Transportation also talked about other rail projects, noting that aside from completing the Abuja Kaduna Railway, the government would also complete the Itakmaiwari rail line very soon. The United Nations Children's Fund, UNICEF, has opened the first African Drone and Data Academy, ADA, in Lilongwe, Malawi's capital, as part of efforts to promote programs and services that will impact the lives of children and young people. UNICEF Executive Director Henrietta Four said the Academy will develop expertise in the use of drones for humanitarian development and commercial purposes across the African continent. The Academy plans to train approximately 150 students to build and pilot drones by 2021 and uh, funding from UNICEF's partners will provide free tuition to the first 26 students from Malawi and across Africa. The Nigerian Football Federation, NFF, is set to commence negotiations for a new contract for the services of Super Eagles coach Kenneth Raw next week. Raw is currently into the last six months of his current contract with the NFF and, will only, and the NFF will only give the Eagles coach a new deal if he is ready to accept all the conditions that will be stipulated in the new contract. The German tactician, who was appointed on a three-year contract in August 2016, has managed 39 games in charge of the Super Eagles with 22 wins, 7 draws and 10 losses. And that's the latest from the newsroom. Many thanks for joining us. Bye for now.